Yes, easy birdie there, Hannah. So Hannah, you're obviously a big fan of that pink putter you've got in your hand. Yeah, it felt really nice. And I think we've kind of seen a theme coming across the new ping releases this year. Obviously we had the black finish on the G710 irons and now we've got the Hepler putters, which have also got a black look to them. But we've also seen this additional copper detailing coming in. So what do you think about kind of these? Um, I mean, similarly to the irons, I'll probably need some convincing. I mean, looking down, it's the kind of classic answer shape, which is nice. You know, I like the shape, but Again, the colour for me, ah, I don't know. For me, I actually really like it. I think it kind of is really striking and stands out. And the black colour is something that kind of suits my eye. Mm -hmm. I think it sits nicely behind the ball. So I've set up a little challenge for us to try. Okay. We've got three balls each here and we've got kind of 30, 40 feet down the slope. So just going to hit a few putts and see who can get nearer. Okay. Yeah, again, I mean, looking over it, it's nice. So see how it feels off the face. I've got the shakes over a putt this time for a totally different reason. That's done a lot better than I expected <laughs> when I struck it. <laughs> How did that kind of feel off the face then? Uh, it actually felt quite nice. It was quite like a, quite like a soft feel. Um, and the, the kind of weight and stuff was quite nice, so yeah. Obviously we've got putters that are very visually different here. Yeah. And I think it is important to know there's kind of nine different putters in this range, so there's a mixture of blades and mallets. So that just kind of means everyone's going to kind of have some sort of style that'll suit them. That's halfway, Hannah. <laughs> right, Hannah, that was poor to say the least. Have another go and see if you can do better. There we go. Oh, that's got a oh, chance. Come on. You still, how does, how does it feel for you? I think there is actually a slightly firmer feel off the mm -hmm. face. Um, obviously, I probably picked that up on the first putt and then yeah. just didn't give the, the second one enough. Yeah. I think that's quite a good thing because generally we see a lot of amateurs leave the ball short on yeah, the green. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'll have one more go, see if one of us can make it. I don't rate my chances, to be fair. Struck it nicely, at least. It's not in, but I'd certainly take that. Yeah, I think another key thing to note is the shaft. Like, you can see it's kind of a different colour to yeah. your standard shaft. It's got a bit more of a black colouring in it. Um, but also it's adjustable, so a lot of the time I find the weighting of a putter is affected because I have to cut it down. With this, you can just put the adjustable screw in the head of it and turn it to what length you want it. Yeah, although, although shafts normally come in silver, I actually quite like the kind of modern look that like you see quite a lot of black and different colours. Yeah, I think it sits nicer, good. especially against the colour of this head, because I think it would kind of look a bit weird if you had kind of the bright silver shaft coming yeah. out the top of a black head. Yeah, definitely. Right, last one. Oh, that's short. Go. Right, I think you've beat me on dispersion there. But anyway, let's head back into the studio and take a closer look. So, just a bit on the tech. The Ping Hepler putters are multi-material mallets and mid-mallets and this is just designed to give you more forgiveness and optimal centre of gravity so you're getting more accuracy on all your shots. So there are nine different models in this range. This is the Tomcat 14 and this is the biggest and the most forgiven in the range and it also features this unique 14 dot alignment system which is inspired by the airport lights on runways. All the putters feature a machine solid steel face and this is designed to give you a bit of a firmer feel off the face. Finally, it features a new adjustable length shaft, which is stiffer and also comes in the new black chrome colouring. So we're back in the studio, Andy. What did you think of the Hepler putters? As, as I kind of spoke about in the course, you know, I'm, I'm yet to be sold on the, the colour. The actual shape, you know, it's, the, it's pretty much the exact same shape as the putter I use now. So in that regard, yeah, it's good. And the feel of the face is, is quite nice, but I, I don't know how comfortable I am looking down on that kind of copper colour personally but I know you quite liked yours. Yeah I think 
compared to you, I prefer a putter that's not like that traditional. So mm. for me, like the different colors were quite like visually interesting. And obviously like this is a new shape in which I really liked. I always kind of use a big mallet. So yeah. this is something that suited my eye straight away. Yeah, you, you hold that nice, uh, that nice birdie putt out in the course. And then obviously left your next putt about 10 feet short. <laughs> so you really seem to have some, uh, some good consistency uh, across the board with that one. Yeah, well, joking aside, I did actually really like the feel off the face. Like, I always leave put short, and I think you could definitely feel the firmer feel off the face, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely something I prefer because I don't really feel like I want to do a really long stroke to get a ball to the hole. Yeah. So, being able to do a bit of a short stroke and roll the putt was definitely something I preferred. <laughs> Right, that's enough from us. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to come back for more videos soon.